All right, what's going on, guys? A few days ago, we got our first look at Unfiltered Armored Core 6 gameplay, showcasing everything from the HUD to the intro of the first mission, and even giving us a look at boss fights. But by now, I assume you've already seen the gameplay preview, as well as lots of hands-on gameplay that we got from other YouTubers. So today, I want to approach it from a different angle and cover eight details that you likely didn't notice because there was an overwhelming amount of information here, and I guarantee you didn't catch everything. But as we get into that today, if you enjoyed enjoy all things from software and want to stay up to date on Armored Core 6 and Elden Ring, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and now let's get into it. Even in the first little bit of the gameplay, we begin to see things that we haven't seen before, and I'm not only talking about the HUD. There's new types of enemies, scenery that we haven't seen in action, and tons of different cues going on on the screen. But as the player flies deeper into the level, we see a strange prompt. Once the player locks on to this minor enemy, above its head is the word unaware, clearly insinuating that the enemy hasn't seen the player yet. But while the enemy is unaware of the player, we can actually pick up on a bit of their dialogue, similar to the way we could eavesdrop in Sekiro. But surely in an action game like Armored Core, this wouldn't be the only advantage to not being seen by an enemy. If we look closely at the enemy's health bar whenever the player starts to attack them while they're in this unaware state, we can see that the first shot of the auto rifle does 80 damage and about 75% of their stagger bar. But if we compare this to the same type of enemy at the beginning of the mission when they see the player coming, we can see that the first shot still does only 80 damage, but significantly less of the stagger bar, looking like a little more than double stagger damage when the enemy is unaware. Now, stealth wasn't exactly something I thought they were gonna add in Armored Core 6, but it does create that extra little layer of strategy that I think is gonna make the game much more fun. Another little feature that was not shown in the gameplay showcase, but did get talked about quite a bit, involves something that might happen while you're flying. In a game like Armored Core 6, where you're constantly zipping around through the air, eventually it will happen that you fall off the map. And in Armored Core 6, you can actually fall. However, it does seem like From Software is being gracious this time around, because when you do fall out of the map, instead of dying and having to restart from the last checkpoint, your character will respawn at the ledge or point you fell from, and you'll receive the prompt autopilot system in game. Now, I couldn't actually find any footage of this happening, since many of the levels that the press got to play were completely covered in ground. Apparently, in the level at the in-store Japanese demos, there were a lot of opportunities to fall, and that's what happened to them. So keep in mind as you're playing, if you see something far away but don't think you can quite make that gap, the only consequence you have to worry about is a little bit of tick to your health, so you can be brave. There was a feature we noticed back during the Summer Games Fest gameplay that was never confirmed or even talked about, but now after seeing the gameplay preview, we can confirm confirm that it does exist, and that is what I'm personally calling stylistic finishers, and you can see it in action right here. When dealing the final little bit of damage against a boss or mini boss, time seems to slow down for a few seconds, giving it this sort of action movie look. Now I wouldn't say there's a practical advantage here, if anything it's probably just a little stylistic choice to give it that more cinematic feel, and personally I really like it. But when it comes to bosses and mini bosses, they come in many different shapes and sizes, but likely the majority of what they're going to be are enemy ACs. Now we've gotten to see a few examples of this such as the one that was showcased in the gameplay preview, the fight against Sula, but we even heard from a few others about AC fights that you had to go out of your way to find, and can even skip. But there's one that's turning out to be a fan favorite that has only shown up in the Japanese demos. Now of course during these events fans could not film their gameplay, and although there has been some that leaked online. It does appear like these are actively being taken down, so I will not show them in this video. But when you get to this mission here that we saw in the Summer Games Fest footage, do not take the same route that we saw the player doing in this clip. Almost every mission will have different routes that you can take to complete it, and there is a bit of a reason to explore. Well, in this mission, if you choose to go an alternative route, down here to the left along this walkway and through the gate, is a secret fight against an AC called Stomper, and you will miss it if you don't go down there. Stomper is an AC characterized by using a shotgun and a chainsaw in his left hand. And according to people that got to play, the chainsaw was incredibly dangerous up close. But Stomper is characterized by the image of a foot, one that we've already seen in this sticker set that comes with the collector's edition of the game. So you're going to want to keep this in the back of your mind whenever you finally get your hands on Armored Core 6, so that you don't miss out on this really fun fight. One thing that's going to be a big factor in determining how you build your mech is ammo economy. For example, you don't want to run two guns 
weapons that have very limited ammo because they won't last throughout the whole mission. Typically, you want to have a balance of high firepower and low ammo, and low firepower and high ammo. Now, there will be stations where you can fill back up throughout the mission, but you may be wondering, what actually happens when you run out of ammo? Are you just done? Do you have to give up at that point? Well, thankfully, some players found out, so we didn't have to. In this clip here, in the boss fight against the Juggernaut, the player burns through the ammo in his pistol, and once he runs out, the AC throws it to the side. Now, you may be thinking he's out of options here, but it actually unlocks a new attack. You can see here that the AC flies forward and begins punching the Juggernaut, and it actually looks like it does a good amount of stagger damage. But it does make me wonder, do different arms do different kinds of damage with a punch, and how viable is this really? But we do have to ask the real question, who's going to be doing a punch only run? Towards the end of the gameplay preview, we got a look at one of the coolest bosses I have ever seen, Balteus, who has these rings that fire off tons of missiles and a sort of plasma shield around him. But throughout the fight, you can see Balteus use a number of attacks, one of which is this big flamethrower that we can see when the player gets in a little bit too close. But something strange happens after they get hit by the flamethrower. We see a pop-up that says ACS Anomaly, with a meter that gradually ticks down. Now, as far as I know, I couldn't find anybody that talked about this, but it looks almost identical to the the status conditions in souls. Now ACS is a stat that determines your ability to not get staggered. It's the posture bars that show ACS load limit when you get staggered. So if I had to make a guess about what this ACS anomaly is, I would say it's likely a status condition that allows you to take more stagger damage when afflicted by it. But that is just a guess and it would make me curious about what other status afflictions we can find in Armored Core 6. But like many of the other improvements that Armored Core is doing to revolutionize the series, there's one thing that was discussed that is a first for any From Software game, and that is that you'll now have the option, at least on PC, to play the game in 120 FPS. And in a game that moves this fast, I'm sure that is going to be one heck of an experience. So while that may not seem like the biggest deal, it does indicate a big step forward for From Software technically that they haven't really made the jump for until now. It remains to be seen if we'll have this choice on console, but they did state today actually that the recommended PC specs will be coming out pretty soon, so you'll be able to see what it takes to get this running at maximum capacity. Capacity. And the final thing I want to talk about today is a bit of exploration. Armored Core 6 is a very fast moving game and it's not going to be like Souls where you can take the time to really pick apart every single map. But that shouldn't stop you from trying. After defeating enemy ACs, you can get things called combat logs. Now, these allow you to refight these ACs in the arena and unlock an activity called the Log Hunt. However, there are other types of collectibles you'll be able to find around the map. This is a video record of G4's last words, an incomplete message sent from one member of the Red Guns to another, apparently just before death. Now, Armored Core 6 doesn't have lore tabs like Souls, but when reading this, it does a fantastic job at characterization and telling a story, so it makes me wonder if there's going to be more of these to find throughout the map to help us dig into the game's world and lore that much more. Anyways though guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and I hope I showed you something that you didn't catch from the showcase. And if I did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video and subscribing if you're new around here. We have a lot more Armored Core 6 news on the way, and I will do my best to keep you guys up to date on all of it. But with all that, be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below, and I will catch you in the next one.